please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Good morning. Today is Friday, October 30th. I'm Happy Abby. And I'm Kooky Kaylin. Today is Day A. Celebrating their birthday today is Casey Dayton and Chloe Hunter. Celebrating over the weekend is Matthew Kozar, Courtney Tranovich, Richard Watkins, and Kaylin Thompson. Congratulations <laughs> to the following varsity cross-country runners as they advance to the state competition in Hershey next Saturday. Rochelle Felsky, Luther Flores, and Trenton Noon. Yahoo! Go Ramblers! The Junie B. Jones cast list is posted outside of Miss Abel's room, the auditorium, and Miss Thomas's room. Please sign off your on your script on your roll and pick up your script. You must have a three-ring binder prior to picking up your script. Rolls and scripts must be picked up by today. Scripts can be picked up in either Miss Thomas's or Miss Abel's room. Today in sports, good luck to the boys varsity football team at Shade, to the boys varsity soccer team tomorrow in their District 5 first round playoff game at McConnellsburg, and to the girls varsity soccer team tomorrow in their District 5 first, five, uh, first round playoff game at North Star. Today for lunch, <laughs> we will be having homemade stromboli, pizza sauce dippers, toss salad, orange smiles, and a Halloween pumpkin cookie. Monday for breakfast, we will be having cereal, milk, and fruit juice. Thanks, and have a spooky Halloween weekend from Hattie and Kaylin. Good morning. I'm Brandon here with your weather forecast. Today will be cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 31. Tomorrow, expect the weather to be mainly cloudy with it being in the low 50s. Starting next week, the temperatures will gradually increase with nice cloudy weather. Good luck to the football team tonight, and go out and dress as a tennis player for Halloween. Have a great day. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Every year on October 31st, people of all ages dress up in crazy ways to show off their Halloween spirit. People go from door to door to receive candy, go to costume parties, and hand out Halloween candy on this famous holiday. But how did this tradition become a standard in American culture today? Who would ever want to put on a crazy outfit and go to strangers' homes just to get a piece of candy? One possible way that this infamous tradition came to be can be traced back to ancient times, where historians are led to believe that the practice of souling helped develop this Halloween custom. During the process of souling, the poor people would go from door to door and collect soul cakes and return to pray for the homeowner's dead relatives. It was believed that souls wandered the earth until All Saints Day, and on the day of All Hallows' Eve, spirits were provided one last chance to seek revenge on their enemies. In order to avoid being recognized by the wandering souls, people would wear masks and costumes to avoid confrontation. Some villagers dressed up like saints and participated in small parades on All Hallows' Eve. In southern parts of Ireland, men would dress up as white mares and lead youths from house to house to recite verses in exchange for food. If the household donated food, you were expected good fortune. Not doing so would bring unfortunate events. In different parts of Europe, some people would paint their faces black or black or wear masks and go to people's houses, often wreaking havoc if they were not welcome. In other parts of Europe, mumming and costumes were part of yearly festivals. Another history of Halloween costumes can be came to be from a tradition called guising in the early 19th century. Children would dress up and go from door to door in disguise to receive a treat. Early Halloween costumes emphasized the gothic nature of Halloween and they were mainly aimed to sell towards children. During the 1930s, companies started mass producing Halloween costumes in the form of supernatural beings. Ever since then, costumes have evolved over the years and virtually anything can be converted into a Halloween costume if you have the nerve to try.